Hello, my name is Kate Ringland, and today I will be presenting Army's Magic Shop, Understanding the Collaborative Construction of Playful Places in Online Communities. When we think about researching play, we often think of studying play in children, designing educational games, or using games to improve health. In this work, we've taken research on play in an understudied direction by looking at adults engaging in play for their leisure or as a hobby. In particular, we are looking at spaces not intentionally designed for play, that is, technologically mediated social spaces that are repurposed as socially playful places. This research is vital for better understanding how communities at play use technology. Outcomes of this work will ultimately help designers and researchers build better supportive and safer platforms for communities in the future. Specifically, we turn our attention to the South Korean musicians BTS and their fandom ARMY. ARMY has been growing globally since the band's inception in 2013. ARMY as a community uses a variety of social media platforms to communicate. Composed of a diverse but often underrepresented majority, ARMY is also a largely misunderstood community as it experiences biases, stereotyping, and oppressions that intersect across the different identities and interests of community members. We hope this work helps to reverse some of the stigma around ARMY and fandoms as a whole. The goal of this work is to illustrate how BTS and ARMY work together to create a socially playful place in person and online, built upon what the artists and community members call the magic shop. The foundations of this magic shop are people at play and their shared values. In this study, we report the findings from an ongoing ethnographic study of the ARMY community. Data were collected through ARMY's and BTS's public social media posts on TikTok, Twitter, Weverse, YouTube, and VLive. I was responsible for all the data collection and primary data analysis and identify as an ARMY, and I've been on ARMY TikTok since September of 2020 and ARMY Twitter since January of 2021. For more details about how data was collected and analyzed, please refer to the full paper. Safety of BTS and ARMY are the priority in conducting this research. This work is exempt from ethics board approval because it involves ethnographic observations of public social media data. However, we took extra care while collecting, analyzing, and presenting this data. As a member of the ARMY community, I take responsibility for protecting individuals who may interact with my various social media accounts. The BTS ARMY community has a history of being marginalized, including incidents of racism, xenophobia, and ageism. Further, BTS ARMY faces more criticism among media and other outsiders. ARMY has a fraught history of outsiders seeking to cause harm or use ARMY and BTS for their own profit or agenda. The epistemic violence enacted upon the community has left many with little trust for academia with valid cause. For this reason, being a member researcher was imperative for this work to ensure that knowledge making about BTS and ARMY is done in conjunction with the ARMY community. This work relies on data from my online ARMY community where I am transparent about my identity as a researcher, professor, and an ARMY. Therefore, when ARMY is referred to in this study, this is referring specifically to my extended ARMY community rather than ARMY as a whole. It serves as a starting point for scholars to understand the ARMY community and playful adult places more broadly. The Magic Shop exists in spaces where ARMY and BTS go to seek comfort and to play together. The Magic Shop can exist anywhere where BTS and ARMY have the potential to play, such as in online spaces like social media or in offline spaces like concert venues. To create the Magic Shop, BTS engage in and encourage playful activities through their conversations and content. ARMY then follows suit in fostering play through fan-made edits and commentary, role-playing, and in-group humor. BTS and ARMY engage in play to construct safe and enjoyable online community places. The play of BTS and ARMY in the Magic Shop should not be dismissed as less valuable than other aspects of life because it is play among adults or a hobby. Indeed, BTS and ARMY's play has real-world impact and consequences, not the least of which is to support coping, meaning-making, and a sense of connectedness, thus improving quality of life and well-being for those in the community. Play, as we understand it, is a concept big enough to be a thing that is both purposeful and joyfully purposeless. This work provokes the need for future research to take a more expansive view of play and a more expansive view of its benefits and boundaries in, in people's everyday lives. 
The magic shop in online spaces has become all the more meaningful since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic when BTS, due to public health concerns, canceled their world tour and ceased all in-person activities with fans. Both ARMY and BTS leaned into the spaces that were available, and that is online social media platforms, to continue creating a sense of community and connectedness. ARMY may not know each other's legal names or even reside in the same country, but they have nevertheless created an intimate bond through play, as well as connection to BTS, their message, and their discography. Being able to play together requires a feeling of safety, whether one is safe or not, and trust between players. Likewise, the magic shop cannot exist without these prerequisites. Many of these playful moments only have meaning within the playful place. Outside of the playful place, much of the antics and humor can be misunderstood and stigmatized. Concerns about this can be seen in how ARMY negotiate with one another about what is appropriate to post publicly and what should be reserved for private conversation. For play to be truly playful, a trust between the members of the community must be developed to create a sense of consent and safety needed for fun play. When the magic shop is noticed by outsiders, like when a reporter takes a ARMY tweet out of context and without consent, there is a sense of violation among ARMY. The play no longer feels playful. Almost all of ARMY's playful activities occur on public platforms and can be accessed by outsiders at any time. Yet the community maintains a sense of in-group and out-group engagement. ARMY still holds to the trust among each other and in BTS as they go about their play. The time and place to be playful is context dependent, both the context inside and outside of the magic shop. The public nature of these platforms requires extra social effort and infrastructure to maintain the boundaries of the community's playful place. Within ARMY spaces, the community has leveraged affordances of the various social media platforms at their disposal, as well as social norms for this boundary maintenance. BTS and ARMY have built a community based on mutual respect, love of music, and being playful with one another in their magic shop. The magic shop is often impacted by real-world non-play issues, such as being summarily dismissed, harassed, and stigmatized by outsiders. The members of the community collectively work to look out for each other's well-being and reorient and restore play in the magic shop, making sure that BTS and ARMY are safe and having fun. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone who helped make this work happen, including my awesome co-authors and collaborators, and a very special thank you to BTS and ARMY.